Good morning. Wait, was that Yuichi was here, always here? Good morning, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you all. I see you all had a... Can I please get two minutes in before I start the fuck-ups? I assume you all had a good night's rest? You'd assume wrong. Nope! Exactly, I didn't. Torch head! I was snoring so loud I could hear it in my sleep. Ugh! <laughs> Not today, wolf boy. I don't want you ruining my morning. Oh! Seems like all of you are already awake over here. Scoutmaster Yuri! GM, Miss Yuri. By the way... Scoutmaster Yoshinori will not be here today, so I will be taking charge in his place. What's going on? May I ask why he's absent today, Miss Yuri? No, you may not. Don't worry. He's just handling very important matters regarding our camp as of now, but he will be back by tomorrow. Anyway... He asked me to prepare some activities for you all. I want you all to get changed into your uniforms within the next 30 minutes. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Uh, where is it? Here it is. I am going to slow down the text speed a bit. Wow, I just heard a car. Horn. Once everyone's ready, we'll have an assembly on the campgrounds. Pretty please. Is that clear? Affirmative. Miss Yuri. See you soon. I want to see your cute faces neat and clean before we begin our activity. All right? All right. You heard, Miss Yuri, bitches. We have 30 minutes before the activity starts. Seems odd that Miss Yuri would suddenly replace Scoutmaster Yoshi like that. I wonder if it has something to do with what I overheard yesterday. Could what Taiga have said really been true? I hope not. Is everybody here? Okay, good. Today is a very special day. Does anyone know why that is? No. Scoutmaster Yuri! Today is Nature Day, Scoutmaster Yuri. I'm assuming there really is such a thing as Nature Day, so I'm gonna roll with it. That's right! What? The heck is Nature Day? Give me a break! Probably just some random event she made up as an excuse for an activity. No! Of course not, Yuichi. We celebrated it last summer too, remember? I've read about this before. I think I've read about it in a... I think... what? I think I've read about it in some articles before. I have an idea! To show our support for Nature Day, we will be dedicating the next 24 hours to environmental friendly activities. Ranging from maintaining the cleanliness of our surroundings to repopulating our forests. Oh, for a minute, I couldn't even read that word. Oh, isn't this exciting? No. Lame! What? No way am I doing this. This is so lame. Catch you later. Catch you all later. I'ma go back to the cabin to get some more sleep. Uh-uh-uh! Mr. Yukimura. <laughs> I have locked all the cabin doors to make sure everyone equally contributes to this activity. <sighs> My ass would break down a door in an instant to get back in if I was in this situation. But then again, like I've said a million times before, I am an agoraphobic, so it just kind of makes sense, you know? You need to try harder! There are lots of things to do outdoors. Just use your imagination, Mr. Yukimura. Hey! This actually sounds fun. We should go plant some seeds. I've done a bit of gardening before. Natsumi, reporting for duty. I'll be in charge of cleaning duty, Miss Yuri. I've been meaning to do a full cleanup of the campgrounds. That's a spirit! Now that's what I want to hear, Natsumi and Hiro. I'm glad you're both happy to take part in this activity. Everything related to our love for nature is encouraged in this activity. Yeah, sure, whatever. No, oh, this is boring. I'll just go and hug some trees or whatever. Keitaro? How about you, Keitaro? Have you thought of any activities that may suit your skills or interests? Um... I want to follow my man. Uh, exploit woods, plant seeds and grow a garden, help in cleaning the environment, take photos of nature. See, okay, the woods, that would definitely be Yoichi, because I know why. The garden is Hiro, cleaning is Natsumi. So, would this really be a hunter choice? Like, Hunter? What is Cunt? I almost called him Hunter. Right. 
That's nice. That's good. No, because what would um, taking pictures of nature have to do with Hunter, I mean? I don't know, maybe he would know some things from books. Scoutmaster Yuri? Uh, Miss Yuri, is it okay if I explore the woods? Very good! It's so weird hearing myself. Y'all have no I no fucking idea. What an adventurous choice. Don't wander off too far! I'll let you explore as long as you make sure that you won't wander off too far. Run along now! You should catch up with Mr. Yukimura for some company as well. Yeah! Yes, Miss Yuri. See you soon! The rest of you are free to begin the activity now. Good, some alone time with my ma'am. Um... Now which way did Yuichi go? The thing is, I can't tell if I'm like, how loud I'm actually talking. Because, um... Like, outside of... Because I hear myself, so like, I don't know if I'm like, scream shouting or what with how loud my voice actually is, like, if my brother can hear me or the people upstairs can hear me, you know. I should be more careful. I don't want to get lost like last time. Russell, Russell. Huh? Something is moving in that bush over there. Yoichi! Is that you? <laughs> Ew. Just stay calm, Keitaro. If you don't move, it won't bite you. No, it'll bite you if you move. I, I mean, regardless if you move, especially if it's a pit bull kind of dog. <laughs> Those type of dogs just bite for the fun of it. And I don't want to hear from you pit bull lovers out there. G good dog. Nice dog. This isn't a pit bull, it's a wolf, but, you know. D don't hurt me, please. Who the hell keeps a wolf as a pet? I swear I'm not delicious! Aw, oh, who's the good girl? Who's the good girl? Yes, you are. Ugh. Y Yuichi? <laughs> Why the hell are you here? I was looking for you so we could explore together. It's dangerous here. You should have told me before that you were gonna go here. I don't know why I cut off like that. What if I weren't here? This dog would have attacked you. Mm-hmm, and then I could have sued your ass. Yoichi, are you- Because you don't have that thing on a fucking leash. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not worried about you. I think he's more worried about that stupid dog. I'm worried if the Scoutmasters will hurt my dog if she bites anyone. That's your dog? Yeah, her name is Yuki. Pretty, isn't she? Mm-mm, no. Why isn't she in the camp with us? That stupid Yoshinori wouldn't allow me to keep Yuki there anymore, just because she bit someone last year. Oh, let me guess, though. They probably started it. They antagonized her. You know, you really should keep that fucking mutt on a leash. I... Well, I must... I'm either A, in a bad mood, or... No, I'm just in a bad mood. She was just trying to protect me. Isn't that right, Yuki? Well, she almost attacked me, too. Mm-hmm. She's just not used to seeing new people, all right? Mm-hmm. The excuses of, uh, my dog would never hurt anyone. It plays with my grandchildren all the time. You don't understand how hard it is to be alone! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <sighs> I get why she'd attack people like that. Well, she has a dog, that's what dogs do. Hated by everyone. Feared by everyone. Oh, give me a fucking break. Abandoned. Yoichi? No one knows what Yuki's been through. Mm. Yoichi, was Yuki a stray dog? <sighs> go, Yuki. Scram before someone else sees you. I'll go back to you as soon as I can, okay? Ah. <laughs> uh. 
I found her lying on the streets long ago. Cold, hungry, and alone. I could never forgive the person who made her feel like that. And you, Katero! Oh, shut up. Don't you dare tell anyone about Yuki and everything I just told you. Or else, I'm really gonna kick your butt. I'm starting to wonder, do I even like Yuichi anymore? Right, I won't tell a soul. Good. Now come with me and I'll show you around. I know these parts of the woods like my own backyard. I was surprised to see that Yoichi had a soft spot for animals. It's not animals in particular. Uh, it's not animals in a general sense. It's just dogs. Or more specifically, that dog. But I'm more surprised by how he defended Yuki. Seemed as if he wasn't just talking about Yuki. I keep wanting to say Yoichi. <laughs> and with that, today's activity reached its conclusion. Sweet. Very good! Congratulations, everyone. Our Camp Buddy Nature Day is a success. I'm so proud of you! I'm so proud that all of you worked hard to take this activity seriously. Mr. Hamasaki. Did a great job cleaning the campgrounds. Mr. Akiba. We also have a new vegetable garden patch right beside the cafeteria thanks to Mr. Akiba. <laughs> I also have to give credit to our campers like Mr. Springfield and Mr. Yukimura who express their appreciation in nature through different ways. Mr. Nagame. You also did an excellent job as a helping hand for your friends. I want a relief! I'm so glad to hear that you all had fun. Run along now! Now, all of you, please go wash up, then proceed to the mess hall for dinner, okay? Yeah, right. She totally didn't mention us. Now, hold on a moment. That is true! Yeah, I plucked so many flowers just to make that assorted summer bloom circlet. I don't have time for this! And these 75 pieces of paper I filled up with my thesis proposal for a efficient way to save the trees is just going to go to waste. 75 pieces of paper, she's fucking waste. It's not fair! Less papers in the Supreme Court! I mean, that's not true, but that's why it's called a joke. Screw this! They're clearly biased to that stupid Keitaro. Let's go, guys. I'm hungry! Well, Taiga, maybe if you just kissed some ass too, you would get, uh, some attention as well. Finally, food. I'm super hungry from all that field work. I am starving as well. And yet I did order McDonald's, but I didn't really eat much of it earlier today. I'll go ahead, guys. Don't blame me if they're out of pizza by the time you get there. <laughs> Not if I get there first, bitch. Hey, stop it! You two, at least take a bath first before you go to the mess hall. Just, just wash your hands. Mm. I'm hungry too. Me too. <sighs> I guess there's no cleaning up then. Katero? How about you, Katara? Are you coming? Um. I think I'll go wash up back at the cabin first. Okay! That's good, Keitaro. Meet us at the mess hall once you're ready. Okay. Got it, Natsumi. Ah. Today was so fun. I should probably update my journal later while I can still remember things clearly. Move it! Hey guys, they left the place open. Hurry up and get in. Eh? That voice. How? Oh. Ugh, I wonder why our bathroom suddenly ran out of water. Yuck! Just when I needed to freshen up my face. Ugh, I feel so dirty. Hmm. <sighs> the water bill probably wasn't paid its respective dues and time, that's what it says. Don't even think about it. Shush, you two. We're only here to wash up a bit. I don't want them seeing us using their bathroom. What's the big fucking deal? It's a bathroom. Taiga! Someone's behind you. Um... You should have ducked into the showers, Keitaro. Keitaro! Ha, huh, look who's here. If it isn't our goody two-shoes buddy, Keitaro. What? What are you guys doing here? 
Weren't you listening? We need to use this bathroom because ours is broken. Stupid. Did you not know that our room is just on the other side of this cabin? So the facilities here are technically ours as well. Look, y'all, nobody is stopping your dumb asses from using the fucking bathroom if you want. Uh, well, maybe he yeah. Has, maybe he has no plans on sharing with us. It's all right. You can use our bathroom however you like. Shut up! I didn't ask you to speak. Well, what? So scared now. What is wrong with you guys? Seriously. No! I never did anything to any of you. Come on, Keitaro. What? You dare talk back to me now? Come on, Keitaro. You gotta slap a hoe. That's it. You're gonna get it this time. Mm-hmm. That's right. Show him who's the boss here. It's a wrong decision you've made given the circumstance that we've got you outnumbered. And what are you gonna do, bowl cut? No one is going to protect you this time. Just kick him in the balls, God, and run away. I've been waiting for this moment ever since I saw your stupid face. Oh. Back off. I'm sorry. Why are you doing this? Dot, dot, dot. Probably Hunter. <sighs> Probably Hunter, not Sumi. No. Maybe Hero, uh, not Sumi. Back off. Back off! Yeah, back off, bitch. So you're fighting back now, huh? You should know your place. Just because everyone treats you special doesn't mean they actually give a shit about you. Everything is just business here. Everyone will pamper you at first. Make sure everything's going perfect. But the moment you screw up once, they'll forget all the good you ever did. What are you saying? Why are you even mad at me about that? Why should I tell you, huh? It was stupid of me to join again this year, thinking the people here were capable of giving another chance. Couldn't you just call home and tell them, Mom, I'm scared? They all talk about teamwork and friendship. Yeah, right. The only thing they're good at is ganging up on the wrong person without even knowing the truth. Oh, okay, Taiga, tell me, what is the truth then? What is this god-awful truth that happened to you? Taiga's words burned into my head. Something surely happened before with him and everyone in Camp Buddy. I can feel that his hate isn't actually about me. Could it be that he possibly trusts me to understand him and see through his words? What could have possibly happened for Taiga to be so full of hate like this? Um, I don't know. Maybe he was uh, just pushed to the edge of just, just a little bit. I don't, know. I don't know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, look at him! He's not even paying attention to what you're saying, Taiga. He's really just the same as everyone else. They think our opinions are not even worth listening to. Huh. Too scared to talk, eh? I'm telling you, just a kick in the balls will do it, Kitaro. Maybe he's just thirsty, Taiga. Perfect timing. That toilet bowl over there appears to be loaded, too. <laughs> it's lunchtime, Kitaro. Wow, that is disgusting. What are you all doing? Oh, it's Daddy. Sh shit! <laughs> we were just playing around, sir. It's true, sir. Taiga was just giving Keitaro a friendly embrace. Tell him, Keitaro. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at the time. Shall we embark to the mess hall? Yeah, I I'm famished. See you later, Keitaro. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. So you're Keitaro Nagami, am I right? Ooh, that voice. Do you hear that bass in that voice? Y yes sir. Are you stirring up some trouble with those three? No. Then why are you pretending to be friends with them? Uh, they're my friends. Don't lie to me. Or 
else you're gonna get the ruler. How come you're calling them your friends, despite what they've done to you? Daddy Gora, why did you start this camp in the first place? I'm sure they're good people. I just need to do my best to understand them so they can change for the better. Kitaro, you can't force people to be friends with you if they, if they don't want to be friends with you, okay? Big words, but your actions do not follow. I know someone who's as stubborn as you. You? Or are we talking about Yoshinori? There are just some things you can't change, boy. Okay. Mm. Tell me exactly. Why did you join this camp? Um, I want to do my very best like no one ever was because I was invited here to get laid. I, I can't say that. Yes, you can. <laughs> What's stopping you? This is no time to make a joke. Mm, I think you're wrong about that one, but okay. Can't answer my question. I see. If you have no real purpose why you're here, then this place must have really lost its meaning. Is this why I heard from Sir Goro that he could be forced to close the camp? Or was he just angry at that time, that he said those things to Scoutmaster Yoshi? I should at least give him an answer to change his mind. I... I want to make the greatest memories here with my friends. And get laid. This camp was meant to create greater things. Things that one will forever carry with him. It's more than just puny memories of friends that fleet by like nothing more than dust in the wind. But... Stop! I've heard enough to know how well you understand the essence of this place. Now go ahead. I don't want to see you getting in trouble with your so-called friends ever again. Well, damn. Y yes sir. Tch, memories, huh? Is that what you saw in him? Who are we talking about? I don't know which terrified me more. The fact that I almost got hurt by Taiga or that conversation I had with Daddy Goro. What they said confirmed everything I felt about an event in the past causing trouble for Camp Buddy to this day. I should take my mind off it for now. Everyone's waiting for me at the mess hall. I should just keep this to myself. I don't want them to worry about me. Cool, night time. Fine by me. Keitaro! Oh, I'm tired. What's up, y'all? Oh, guys, there's Keitaro. I'm sorry. What took you so long? We were all waiting for you. Are you kidding me? Not really. Weren't you the one who couldn't wait to dig in? Wolf boy? Shush, wolf boy. Keitaro? Don't talk to Are my... you alright? Don't talk to my husband, Dos. Is that what it is? It's waifu and husband, Dos? Oh, what? I don't know. I don't keep up with that kind of stuff. Are you able to wash up, Keitaro? You look exhausted. Are you okay? He must be hungry. Keitaro? Here, Keitaro. We saved some for you. Uh... T.Y. <laughs> Don't sweat it. You're lucky there's still some left. This place was jam-packed earlier. I smell something fishy. Hmm, you're acting a bit weird, Keitaro. Did something happen? No, I mean... Ah, oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm just hungry. Hmm. <laughs> You're not fooling me. Actually... I, I... I was just trying to recall what happened in the past few days for my journal entry tonight. <laughs> That's all. Pish posh. Oh! Why didn't you say so? Let's do it! Hey guys, how about we help Keitaro complete his journal entry right now? Isn't this exciting? That sounds splendid. But... My journal is back at the camp. <laughs> I've got it right here. You little thief! Oh. Th that's my journal. Since when have you had it, hero? Anything for you. Heh, I'm always prepared when it comes to you, Kitaro. I just, I, I you know what? <laughs> I, I'm actually, I'm going to save it for later. Hmm. Oh, so you guys are talking about that stupid notebook. 
Hey! Don't act like you don't care. You've been yapping all about- What? You've been yapping all day about whether you're in his journal. Wait, you've been yapping all day about whether you're in his journal or not. <laughs> I bet you already sneaked a peek at it. it. Says you who's- Who literally took it from Kitaro's, like, I don't know, bed- uh, Bed section, backpack, toy chest. I don't know where the fuck he keeps it. The back of his pocket. Hey! You want to talk? I'm not the one who secretly stole it from Keitaro. Mm -hmm. You call him out, Yuichi. And besides, I bet I'm not even in that stupid journal. Don't worry! I've actually put you in it already, Yuichi. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of us are included in the journal, right, Keitaro? Yeah, that's right! Yes, Natsumi. That's right. Really? Even me? Of course! Definitely, Hunter. That's my Keitaro! I must be the one with the most exposure so far. I'm his best friend after all. <laughs> Come on! Let's get started, shall we? Should I save? I'm gonna save just in case. What was your last entry, Keitaro? Um... The last one I wrote was for the second day, the day we prepared for the trip. Oh! Then you'll have fun writing up the next one. It was your first outdoor camping trip after all. Well... What part do you remember the most about that day? The dinner, the marshmallows, the campfire, the tent. Okay, campfire, uh... Oh, the dinner was Hero, so the marshmallows would be Yu Yuichi. Tent... Okay, these are not Sumi and Hunter, so it's gotta be obviously these. Fucking... I know! Christ, mouse. I remember how we roasted marshmallows together over the campfire. I'm awesome! It was all thanks to me that we had extra- uh, Well, it was all thanks to me that we had extra marshmallows to eat that night. And there's more! Hiro's idea to add chocolate and crackers to the marshmallows made it a lot tastier. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, whoever thought that marshmallows could taste so good. Oh really? Oh really, Yuichi? You like my cooking? <laughs> Don't get so full of yourself. I was talking about the marshmallows. Anyway! Now that we've recalled the one important moment of Keitaro's day, I think he can start writing his entry. Yeah, here we go. Okay, are we prepared? Yeah, we're prepared. Okay, simply drive the letters, yep. Uh, ready to go. Alright. Uh, animal torch had keychain, raccoon. Uh, tent. I don't even know what the question was. Here he was, uh, journal. Uh, Flint. Uh, s'mores? Yay, I did it. Why is there a picture of Hero over there? Oh, I know, I know. My... Uh, continue. Read journal. Okay, let's uh, read the journal. <sighs> On the third day, it was time for our camping trip. I had so much fun taking pictures in the woods with everyone. Even if I did get lost, I got to meet two more scouts named Seto and Felix. Though kind of found out the hard way that they were actually part of Taiga's group when he had... They were actually part of Taiga's group when he and I had a little fight. I don't know why he's so angry, but I knew I wouldn't let it get to me. Uh, let it get me down, whatever. Pretty soon, we got back together with everyone, and we made it to the campsite just in time to see an amazing sunset. It was a day I shared with my friends that I'd never forget. That night, I pitched a tent with Hunter, started a fire with Natsumi, ate some of Hiro's delicious cooking, and even shared some s'mores with Yuichi. We got so much done in one day that I got really excited for the next one. Unfortunately, I was kind of let down when we suddenly had to return to camp because of Sir, oh I'm sorry, Daddy Goro, Camp Buddy's founder. I overheard him and Scoutmaster Yoshi arguing about last year's incident. After that, I got to talk with Sir Aiden, who really inspired me with his hard work and told us how he was helping here in camp to earn money for his education. <laughs> I know it's education. Shut up. 
Oh, and of course, I got this journal from Miss Yuri. It's been a really busy couple of first days here. I've learned so much and met so many people that I can't wait to see what else is coming my way here at camp. Yay. Phew. I think it's... I think that's it for today. That was close. Good thing we finished just before the Scoutmasters turned off the lights. Ah. Uh... Wow, we stayed here for a long time. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? I have to say, I'm surprised Yuichi stayed until we finished. What the? Don't get me wrong, I just had nothing else going on for tonight anyway. Anyway! Alright, you little hard-headed wolf. Now that everything's done, let's all call it a day. It's closing time anyway. We should go now. Let's head back to our cabin and get some rest. Thank you so much! T.Y. again for helping me fill my journal up tonight, everyone. Aww. Don't mention that, Kitaro. I'm here for you. Just tell us if you ever need someone to help you recall events of the day. Yeah, sure. I was thankful I was able to spend time with everyone tonight. I thought I would stay upset over that incident with Daddy Goro and Taiga. But I'm lucky that I have my friends by my side to cheer me up. Yep. Hey, cool. Next day. Did I miss the part where they tell ghost stories? I don't think so.